Hello everyone, um, YGO Dragon Ruler here again, and different market watch today, still the market watches, yeah I know, um, today, 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 we'll be looking at the same thing we did for the blue eyes, except we're going to do it for the deck with the most potential, uh, we're going to look at um, a variety of um, the red eyes card, red eyes black dragon, um, I also included like some variant like red eyes flare metal and uh, family. So we'll look at some of them. Not all of them, but uh, primarily we're going to be focusing on all the versions of Red Eyes Black Dragon, excluding commons, because we we don't we don't mess around with commons. So to start things off, we're going to look right now at um the battle pack, uh, the Duelist pack, Battle City Red Eyes Black Dragon. It's a uh, super rare. Market value here has at about a dollar. You can see near mint, it's about a dollar and ninety nine cents shipping. We go down and we look at some more prices. Yeah, you can see this card. It's just about a dollar. Um, this card, and, and especially this art, like this art right here has had multiple printings. So it doesn't surprise me too much that, you know, yeah. you'll see. Because the Legendary Collection one right here, uh, this is Legendary Collection for Joey's World, uh, has it as an ultra rare market value. It's about a dollar and 18 cents. If we go look at some prices down here, we can see Nearman First Edition is about dollar it's about 69 cents plus and 99 cents shipping then yeah it's about it's about two bucks so yeah uh, again the, this version has just had so many print -ins. these are not the ones we want to focus on um dark beginnings uh again it was a super here same art market value about a dollar and 41 cents and let's go down a bit yeah if we look right here we can see that it's about a dollar two dollars yeah about two dollars but the bottom of the page it's about I mean just because of shipping it'll be about like two something and change but still about a two dollar card uh, red eyes wyvern from um, ancient prophecy to super rare uh, market value on this guy is about two bucks look at some prices here we can see that yeah it's about it's about 158 and then right in the page, yeah, it's about, it's a little under its market value, a little bit. Not not too crazy, but, you know, it's getting there. Next up, we're going to look, Dual Terminal. Um, Is this a rare? But it's a DT, so we got to look at it. It's about 270 um, on the market value. It's a little actually under that right now for Likely Played Limited. Uh, looking at Near Mint, it's about 162, Likely Played yeah, it's about it's about two two fifty. Once you get to the bottom of the page, a little bit under that market value for some, but not not yeah, too much. The Shonen Jump version, like these, um, these I would get. I mean, let's make sure here. Yeah, market value, but these are about three bucks. I mean, if, if you're gonna pick any up, in the ultra rare uh, rarity, I would I would get the Shonen Jump version. Just because, like, long term, these might be, um, these might end up being worth more money. You can see right here, you get some likely plates for about a dollar and forty cents. You get some near mints about two bucks. Oh, so you got one near mint for about two dollars with nine nine cents shipping. Let's go to page two real quick. All likely plates. Then yeah, then near mints again get to about three fifty. Then five dollars. Damn. Okay, so this slow creep. Um. Oh, and there's only three pages. That's interesting. Uh, so yeah. Uh, currently there's only 22 about these guys left on the market. Most of them are likely played a few near mints. So yeah, I would definitely think about investing in these uh, jump cards. In general, have been just getting bought out. Um. So yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe make a move on that if you want it. Starter deck Joey. Um. I think a lot of these red eyes cards, they've been the people have been sleeping on them compared to like the blue eyes counterparts. As you can see right here, market value about these are only about four bucks. We start looking at likely played. We get we're getting like two dollars, which isn't it's not bad at all. Look at for a first edition though. And I don't think these cost too much for a first ad. Yeah, right here. So it's about six dollars for a first ad for starter deck Joey. Um Granted, this one's likely played, uh, but here's another one, likely played, likely played, six dollars all day long. Um, that guy actually has a picture up. Near mint first ad. Where are you? 
Nair Mint. Nair Mint first. Okay, so Nair Mint first is about 13 bucks, but I mean, you're gambling a little bit with lightly played, but like for half the price, that might be a gamble I'm willing to take. But yeah, like these cards are like, they're, they're very cheap compared to, I mean, I, I would think it's ultra rare, OGR, really old structured starter deck. I, I figured those would be valued more, but I don't know. People people just don't people just don't look at red eyes like that. And then we have uh the Dark Legends rare. Um market value is about five bucks, which is a lot for rare I think. Um likely played are about three bucks. Near mints three um three fifty. Again this only has like three pages as well. Um and it tops out at seven dollars for rare uh yeah about 28 on the market so you know not a whole lot of these but again i don't know i don't know who the market is for these dark beginning cards They're like a rare dark legend i mean rare like who who are you appealing to here next we have the dual terminal red eyes um darkness metal dragon uh if this card <laughs> this card has been hit in the ocg it has yet to be hit over here just because we're not like nobody's using it but my god, like, card went to one, stayed at one for the longest. So I was like, alright, it's not too late. It's like, and then the OCG is like, nah, bro. Nah, you're doing too much. And they banned my mans. But yeah, so we have the market value here for this uh, DT at about 550. We scroll down here, we see it's about 5, 5, 5, 5, 5. Yeah, it's 5. It's just 5 all day long. But again, this is, this is another card with like, there's only three pages of this stuff, right? For like, Near mint likely played because we don't look at anything that isn't near mint likely played. That's not that's not what we do. We're not we're not in the market for that. So it's three pages and then that's it. And they're gone. Looking at the special edition from uh, Absolute Power Force again. Market wow. So, yeah, about five bucks. That's interesting. Um, that they're cheaper. They're about the same price as the dual terminals. Dual terminals are common, but they're dual terminals. So I kind of get it. I kind of get it, uh, but yeah, here, this guy will has one right here limited for about three bucks. Three bucks, actually, these are these are pretty cheaper. Um, and then yeah, it tops out at about five by the end of the page. But again, this is another one with only three pages, only twenty six on the market. And once they're gone, they're gone. But yeah, I said I wouldn't invest in these. Um, I mean DTs if you're a DT person, but I'll show you the version of this one you should get. Uh, red eyes, uh, wavering. I believe this card used to be like dumb expensive back in the days. <laughs> dumb expensive. Uh, market value is about six bucks. Whoa, whoa there. I don't, I don't know if it's like you know it's just that old of a card that there's not that many on the market. But my, there's there's two lightly played. You know, just two. Six bucks, which matches the market value. Seven dollars, dollar more, and then this guy with the near mint over here for about fifteen bucks, and that's it. Once those are gone, it's gone. That's it. Then you control the market. That's crazy. I did not. I I presumed that was a buyout. Um. I just again, I don't know if there were just like that little of these on the market. But my God, only three. That's crazy. Red eyes, black flare dragon. Market value is about six bucks. Um. We see it here about seven and rising. And again, this is another card with only like three pages. So it's nine dollars by the end of page one. It's ten dollars by the end of page two, and by page three, it's only about thirteen bucks. But yeah, and I don't think there's any like, yeah, there's no walls here. I'm not saying go buy this card out. I'm just saying you know, you know, there's not, <laughs> there's there's nothing stopping you if you were to, but I would definitely like. Just get these three. Get these three right here off of this guy. You, you control the market on that stuff. It sounds, it sounds like a good deal to me. Our oh, red eye clear metal, the secret rare. Nine bucks. Seven dollars. So they've been going up. They've been going up. Seven dollar market value, nine dollars. Nearman first ad. Uh, by the end of the page. They're, ooh. Ooh, have these been bought out? Who's buying these out? God, that. There's only ten of these on the market, guys. There's ten. Well, ten sellers. No walls, yeah. They've been bought out nine bucks, 13 bucks by the end of the page. But they're solid nine, they've been bought out to like nine dollars. 
I guess somebody just bought it all at eight, seven, six dollar copy, and they're like, nine dollars. That's that's a shred. That's that's where I draw the line. I draw the line at nine bucks. Um, but yeah. So Red Eye Slurp Metal got bought out. That's fun. Uh, so the this is the one I would pick up. Um, Red Eye's Darkness Flare Metal Dragon market value is about eleven bucks. Likely played is about nine seventeen. Uh, Secret Rare, right? So can't go wrong with Secret Rare. New mints for these are about nine dollars. If you want likely played, it's about nine. <laughs> There's a whole lot of these on the market, so you know, think th think about that, you know. But yeah, if uh, if you were to get any Red Eyes uh, Darkness Metal Dragon, get the Secret Rare. Don't get the. I mean, <sighs> people buy out DTs for no reason. They just go in and they buy them out. So maybe. If you're like looking for an investment standpoint, but also like the secret rare, this is the highest rarity of this card, unless it gets an ulti print, which it probably won't. So it's always like whenever buyouts happen, let's say all the super rares of these get bought up, the soup the secret rare will still like shoot up in value just because it's the highest rarity. Because whoever bought out the super rare was just stupid. But you know, I digress. Uh looking at the the ultra rare market value for these is about whoa there, nine bucks. You see him here for like thirteen dollars. <laughs> I think he's. You know, there's two pages of these, right? But there's like only eleven. There's only eleven on the market. And after this thirteen dollars, after these thirteen dollar ones, it well, it creeps, right? So it creeps up. By the end of the page, it's a twenty dollar card. The last person has it for twenty five dollars. But yeah. So I'm guessing this, these cards are the red eyes, flare metals getting bought out like left and right everywhere. Interesting. Hopefully you got yours. There's also an ultra rare which I think is still dumb cheap, so keep that in mind. Whoo, the ghosty boy. Um some <laughs> market value on this guy. Uh red eyes, flare metal ghost is about twenty-eight bucks. Is it? Is it oh seven on the market. Of course it got bought out. Once this likely played unlimited is gone. We're looking at Nearman first edition, sixty bucks, sixty bucks, sixty bucks, sixty, sixty-six. And then this brave soul over here is like Hundred dollars. I see these sixty dollars. Hundred dollars. Eventually, it'll, it'll get to this hundred dollar point. This man is just. <laughs> this man is just planning ahead. Yeah, that's crazy. Oh man. All right. So yeah. With Ghost Rares, guys. They're, they're they're they only go up. They only go up along with the ultimates. Now this card, I think people are sleeping on. I think this card, people really need to be looking at this. Um, this is the Red Eyes Darkness Metal from uh, Power of Chaos. Uh, uh, and if you guys don't know about the Power of Chaos promos, there's um three. There's the Dark Magician one, the Blue Eyes one, and then there's this one. And these are all Prismatic Secret. I don't know why it's a super. They're Prismatic Secret rare. Don't let that mislead you. These these cards are Prismatic Secret. If you look at them, Prismatic. So with that information in mind, fourteen bucks. <laughs> there's there's not even any other. There's there's three on the market for about that. Then this 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 one guy here comes in with the playset at twenty bucks each. Um, so it's about twelve, twelve, fourteen dollars. That's, that's crazy. These guys are slowly shut up. I wonder if I take off like lightly played, near mint. Yeah, there's still only eleven. Um. But then you don't you don't want to mess with with the other seven. You just want these four right here. These four should only be your focus. Don't do it. Don't don't go under likely played. You're you're you're. That's not the move. Next up, uh, L O B red eyes. Uh, market value for this guy is about sixteen bucks. There's about twenty seven on the market. Uh, the page starts off for likely played unlimited for about nine dollars actually. That near mints, you're looking at <laughs> near mints are about 21. First editions? First editions out here? Ooh, no first editions except the Spanish ones and then the Korean one. Huh, no first editions of LOB Blue Eyes on the Market. That's crazy. But yeah, they're gone. They're gone. Uh, I don't know why there's not a picture for this Red Eyes Black Metal Dragon card. Um. But it's a secret rare. Uh, market value is about twenty-one bucks. And again, these cards. A lot of these red eyes cards. I don't know, man. There's only there. There's very small quantities of them on the market, and they tend to still maintain their market value, which is crazy. 
And, and some of them are even under market value. 15 bucks for likely played. You get into near mints about 26. Ooh, by the end of the page, it's a $35 card, though. And by page two, the last three are all 30, 37. So this card got bought out. Premium pack one, guys. That's crazy. Next up, the Shonen Jump. This is also another one. I wow, is this more than the... I'm telling you guys. So remember when I told you guys about uh, picking up these jump cards? So the secret rare, which is, to me, the max rarity of Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon, it's about 11 bucks, right? There's some for 9 still on the market. Looking at the jump, ultra rare though, market value of this card is about 22 bucks. Likely played is about 14, right? So this is this is also creeping down in value. But by the end of the page, this card is 17 dollars, which is way more than the secret rare. And the only reason this card is being bought out is because it's a jump card. The only reason it has that price point is that jump stamp on it. Just, which is crazy. So yeah, uh, if you look into invest, like jump cards, I think uh, jump card is another set of cards that they they always get bought on the market for. I don't know why. I don't know. They're just jump cards. Uh, and great, yeah. So we're, we're, the jump promos are done. There's like two more sets going out. There's one going out, I think, at the end of this month or next month, and then there's another going out at the end of the year, and that's it. Then we're never gonna have any more jump cards ever again. So well. You know, maybe, but that's what they said. So that's interesting. You know, that's why that's why people have just been going in and gobbling these up. Next up, we got a uh, Red Eyes Black Dragon right here, the anniversary pack. Um, this card has never seen a reprint. I will put. I'll put a lot on that. I put like all my knowledge that doesn't see a reprint. I don't think any of these anniversary pack cards ever seen a reprint again, in Death's Art, obviously. So let's look at it. Um, market value is about. 23 bucks. Let's go down here. We see likely played are about 14. Wow, this dipped. So there's a bunch of them. Uh, you can even get a near mint for about 20, which is close to the market value. So this card, but uh, there's a bunch of likely played for 14, 14, 15, 17, 18, 19, and then it hits near mint to 20. And again, 24 on the market. There's a mm, fair amount, three pages. No walls, though. No walls. Uh, this guy. The wall starts at about 25 bucks, but you know. That's <laughs> red eyes for you. Yeah. The the, the blue eyes counterpart to this card is about thirty bucks, so you know. Whatever whatever price red eyes hits, the blue eyes will almost all just double it. Crazy. This one, um red eyes from the collection tin, the secret rare. Oh man, man do I want this card. Man, can I not afford it? Market price is about thirty bucks. Ooh. There's a few likely plays for about twenty. 20 25 and then it hits near mint it's about 28 so it's actually under its market value interesting interesting it's only 16 on the market too it's crazy when I mean, there's such small quantities of these cards on the market but somehow they're, they're i guess they're not selling and nobody wants I, I don't i don't want this red eyes this isn't the red eyes for me but yeah that's interesting if you guys want to swoop in for these. Alright, so Forbidden Memories. Um, I guess, I think this is also a Prismatic Secret Rare, if I'm correct. Woo, market value about 72 bucks. There's an Unlimited. Uh, there's a li Likely Played for about 43. With a pitcher. Uh, they're about 45, 45, 45. Oh, okay, so then when you hit Near Mint. There's one for about 70 bucks, then it creeps on up to 80. $80, $85 by the end of the page, and then by page two with the last three. <laughs> what are you doing, man? What are you doing? What are you doing? That's one guy over here with the one copy for about 400 bucks. My God, bro, who's buying that? Who's going through all of these and then coming to you and like, yeah, I wanna. This is the guy I wanna. Man, man, only had a 198 sales today. I mean, yo, know, if you're selling prices like this and you're selling, though, I mean, by all means, power to you. Looking at the retro pack one, uh, we're getting real expensive now. Uh, retro pack one is about market value is about 75. Uh, there's only two, <laughs> there's only two on the market, and one is 80, and it's Italian, and the other one is likely played unlimited, and it's 87. So you know, if you want that, if you want that retro pack, ultra rare. Just, just get the battle pack secret rare, bro. Let's, let's move on from this. Let's move on. Uh, damn. 
there's a thing about these um these speed deals tournament packs bro they're all expensive i i can't i can't advise on this i know nothing about speed deals but i think that's ridiculous for what it is there's no reason because this is also like it's the it's the red art it's uh, where is it not that art let me show you guys what art is nope nope why am i clicking on all the one it is not this art it's the other one it's the other art it is this art right here this this ugly well i like it don't get me wrong i, I like this art this is my art um so this is the art the speed oh <laughs> That, that's a comment. We don't we don't look at comments. So yeah, I, I can't tell you guys whether this is a good investment or not. I don't think it is, me personally. But maybe to somebody, maybe to Speed Duelist it is. But there's also the Blue Eyes one. Just get, <laughs> they're normal monster guys. And there's no way to turbo out this Red Eyes Black Dragon. But you can turbo out Blue Eyes and Speed Duel. So. And lastly, um, the Dual Terminal Preview. It's a rare... I don't know man, collectors are crazy, like me personally I would never pay this much money for a rare card, I don't care what it is, where it's from, that's just, so you wanna, <laughs> the collector store, LLC, they're the only ones with it, so I guess yeah, when you're the only person with a card, you set the price, I'm curious though, yeah, only person, that's okay, I don't know, I don't know if you want that, but if you want that, you got $150 to just waste on a rare, by all means, by all means, P power to you, power to you. Anyway, guys, that'll do it for this market watch. Um, I hope you enjoy it. You know, if you want to see anything else, if you want to look at particular cards, you know, just comment it down below. If you do like this content, I would appreciate it if you could like the like the video. Um, if you can uh, share the video and if you can subscribe, that helps me out a bunch. Um, it's motivation to keep doing these. I'm going to keep doing them, I think, like, anyway, because you know, they're kind of fun. I think if you enjoy doing what you're doing, then you're going to keep doing it no matter what. And I kind of do right now. So, that's just my uh, my take on this. <laughs> Blue Eyes Market is crazy. There's there's there, 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 there's always buyouts going on with these with these um, Nintendo Market. You guys never see it. And it's like, not a lot of car, not a lot of people look at, like, these quote-unquote, like, anime style, like, you know, type cards, like. Nobody's looking at red eyes, but somebody's looking at red eyes, you know, just no one's talking about red eyes. Someone's buying these cards, you know, you don't hear about it, you don't hear about it. You just, when you do stuff like this, you see it, and I think, <laughs> I think it's interesting. But yeah, that'll do it for today, guys. I'll, uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.